I was trying to give it to you. I, I was trying to mouth it to you, but I have a camera on me. Don't mouth it. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like the way you behave in here. Are we going? Yes. Action again. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jake's thinking. So Molly, I think in order to make the show even better than it already is, we need to take it out of the studio and we need to bring it out in the streets. We need to bring it to high schools in the Chicago area. We just need to get out of the studio. It's too stuffy in the studio. Do you know what we need to do? We need to stop making promises that we can't uh, afford. We can't keep doing all the things that Jake wants to do. Jake wants to do this and Jake's Are ready. you complaining generally right now? Because oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I'm complaining because you know what? The retailer from New York called me and told me that you promised them a lot more money than what we said. You found out? I am a guru of finding listen, out. Listen, I know you're a guru of finding out, but I, I am also, a ghost. Listen to me, this I show am, is working. Haunt you. This show is working, all I was trying to do is sweeten the pot so that it would be better. I'll sweeten your pot. You know what you should do to sweeten your pot? You should try to follow through on any of the things that you've said you'd do for me. $500,000 was the limit, and 1.5 is out of the but question. But can't we just find, it's not even your money, it's just more of like, it's more of the corporation, it's like not a big, here's the thing, all I want to do is take the show out to the streets. I think if we get out to the kids, and we make it more interactive, I think it'll be much more compelling. I would love people. to take you out to the streets, because you're taking me out to the cleaners. We find that, uh, Jake has uh, brought himself to Chicago uh, to create a show that uh, he basically did what he always did, which is he caught a tiny little glimpse, he caught a seed of something that was the possibility of an opportunity, and he turned it into reality. But again, don't forget, he's a few seconds ahead, so everybody else has to catch up. If the show's more valuable than what we're giving to the big retailer, we'll all equal out in the end. All I would like to do is talk about how you keep spending money like you have, like, 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 like you're a Monopoly man. I'm not spending money, I just said $1.5 million in ad rep. That's just, I, you, you, watch this. I, I wanna be a, a goose that lays eggs. I just pulled that out of the air like you pulled that out of well, the air. Well, lay your eggs, sister. I don't have eggs, I am a barren, barren You do woman. have eggs. I am a dust bowl. Why is it a dust bowl? I don't know. It doesn't matter. That's not the point. $1.5 million is too I much. hate when you talk about menopause. I'm not quite there yet. I'm pre. pre then why is it a dust bowl? I'm it's confused not, about the female anatomy. It doesn't anatomy. matter. I know you are. Believe me, you. I have a lot of ideas about why you're confused about women. All I'm trying to do is make the deal worth it for them because I'm trying to do the best that I can for the teen talk show. And which is why I want to move this thing to the streets. Let's go to like Chicagoland High Schools. Are you good with that? We need to get out of the studio. The studio's silly. No more money, Jake. I won't spend any more money that I don't have. If I mispromise something, I will reappropriate. So he moves to Chicago and that's how we start off the, the show. And while he's there working on this show, which isn't at all a show yet, he incidentally accidentally, inadvertently, and entirely intentionally creates a second show. All I want your permission is to be able to take the show out on the streets. Can you support me to take it out on the streets? I want to support you in so many things. But if you don't stop making these promises, Jake, we're gonna have a real big problem. Capiche? Carpe diem. It's not a thing. You know, we live in a world where we're not honest with ourselves and oftentimes we're not honest with each other. And really the only way to be able to uh, take pain out of a situation is to be able to focus on it fully. If you have a problem, the reason why the problems continue to exist is because you focus on it only partially. The other thing about being honest with yourself is a lot of people say, oh Jake, you lie. I don't lie. I'm very skillful in the way that I present realities, but why focus on a reality that's not enjoyable to think or talk about anyways? And if that's lying, well then I'm, then, then I'm a liar. But I don't think I'm a liar.